Hello YouTube people. Oh my god, just look how long my microphone cable is. <laughs> Isn't that ridiculous? You may probably want to ask me why I'm not using some kind of a shotgun microphone like, like this one. And I'm not gonna answer that thing in this video. <laughs> I have separate channel for these kind of comparisons. So I did comparison. Shotgun microphone versus this Lavalier microphone. If you want to see the difference and my reasoning, check out the link in the description. In this video, I will tell you my two problems with this Golden Castle watch. Look at this beauty. Look at this beautiful watch. So yeah, first problem is gonna be a little bit, well not a little bit, it's completely subjective, it's very personal. And first problem and second problem, they are kinda a little bit interconnected, but second problem is very objective though. So let's start with the, with the first problem. You see, usually I don't care what people think about my watch. I can wear any watch anywhere and I just don't care. I used to be very shy, but you know, a watch after watch, review after review, I got over myself and I, I don't look, I no longer care really, I can wear any watch. Well, unless that person is my wife. And you see, my wife's opinion about this watch is very negative. I mean negative to the point that if I would tell those things that my wife tells about this thing on YouTube, my channel would get deleted the same day, the same day. So that's how bad, yeah, really bad. And you see, this watch is kind of a little bit dressy, a little bit for special occasions. It's not really an everyday watch. And when there is uh, some kind of a special occasion, some birthday, and I have to dress up a little bit, etc. I'm together with my wife. <laughs> so I can't wear this watch. You see, wearing the watch while being together with my wife, wearing the watch that my wife hates, is a little bit something like using some kind of a perfume that my wife would hate the smell of. I mean, that just doesn't really make sense, really. So, why I'm not wearing this watch when I'm alone, just doing my things, day, daily life? Why I'm not wearing it without my wife in, no, in those not so special occasions? You just said that, you just, you can wear any watch you want and you just don't care what anyone thinks. You see, uh, the thing is, uh, let me put it this way. Let's take this G-Shock, for example. And you see, this G-Shock, it's overkill. You don't need the watch of this kind. You don't need the watch to be this strong. But it gives that sense of security, that, that ease of mind, that you can take this watch and do whatever you want with this watch. And this watch just simply, it just doesn't care. <laughs> I mean, and this Casio, is the complete opposite spectrum in terms of that feel of security that you can do anything with this watch. You see, I will give you an example. I, when I bought this Pagan Design 1661, this golden watch, I used this watch working in my little shop and in the garage with bicycles for two weeks straight. First week with this golden bracelet, and next week I was just trying out different strap options, different bracelet, uh, different uh, silicone straps. Just wanted to see how it looks like. And I mean, when I work and in garage uh, or do whatever, I'm very clumsy actually. And I beat my watches a lot. And I was very surprised by the durability of this Pagan design golden coating. There are no edges that are wearing off. And even speaking about the scratches, I mean, there are just, just a few super tiny hair scratches. And overall, if I look at a watch like this, it's just, it looks like new. And when I take this Casio, for example, I haven't really done anything with this Casio. I haven't been in any harsh environments with this Casio. I was very careful with this watch. And yet somehow, this watch has more tiny scratches than that Pagani. That doesn't even make sense and that really bothers me. I mean to the point where if I take this Pagani, I see a fingerprint, I can just, yeah, whatever, clean it, that's it, it's clean. 
I see fingerprint on this Casio. I can't clean it like that. I don't feel right doing that. I feel like if I'm gonna clean it like this, I'm gonna scratch it up. And that just bothers me so much. I mean, that thing alone pushes me away from this watch so much. And that's so annoying. So annoying because I personally like the looks of this watch so much. I mean, you see, I f at first I had Invicta Pro Diver Golden Watch. And back then I was too shy to wear that watch in the public. I just written off that watch saying that it was just a party piece just for evening light. And that's true. In the evening light, golden watches just come alive. They look impressive, amazing. But over time, when I got over myself, I missed that golden watch. I bought this Pagani Design Golden. And this is wonderful watch, by the way. This is wonderful watch. But I miss one thing with this golden watch. You see, what kills me, kill, kills this watch for me, is the size of this watch. You see, overall, diver watch, big watch, it's fine. It's completely fine, unless it's a golden watch. And with a golden watch, I kind of want that watch to look a little bit more elegant, more dressy, classy, special. And when the watch is big, there is just no way it's going to look elegant, classy. The size just kills that for me. It big and elegant and classy. These things just don't come together. And when I saw this golden Casio, it's like, that's it. I found it. Even the brand name, even the brand name Casio, it's like, wow, it's, it's amazing. I love it. And it's like, wow, look how slim this watch is. It's like, it's so tiny. It's so small. It's so light. It's so slim. It's like, I look at this watch and like, this is proper size for a golden watch. It's like, it's elegant. This is class. This, I love it. But the durability of this golden coating is just, just kills this watch for me. And I'll give you an example. Uh, for example, this is uh, the watch that I love the most. I wear this watch like 90% of the time. And, but it's, also, it's plastic. Why? Why you don't care about scratches on this watch? You see on black case, I don't see any scratches because it's black plastic. And this window, it's a little bit sticking out. I do scratch it occasionally, but I have polished out this watch several times already. And after polishing it out, it looks like new again. I just take some car polishing paste, put it on uh, old hand towel. Face the swatch down, rub it in for a minute or two, wash it off with water, and that's it. You have a new watch for yourself again. And that's just wonderful. S similar situation with this F91W. You see, uh, F91W and this 159 are basically, it's the same watch technically, it's the same watch. Except this one is coated in this golden coating. And you see, let's take this G-Shock. In day-to-day -day situation, in daily life, I would say you don't really need more durability than this F91W. This F91W still gives me that ease of mind very similar to the G-Shock. I do feel very good with this F91W. I, I just love this watch. I can beat it around and I just don't care. It, it, it still looks wonderful. And this is the same as F91W, technically. I can throw it around, do whatever, and it would survive just fine. Except it shows scratches like... <laughs> it's a scratch magnet. It bothers me too much. And you see, so those are two negative things. So first thing uh, is completely subjective. Next thing is completely objective, because I see how it is. I can even... feels like I can scratch it with my nail. That's... That, that just doesn't work for me. So where are I going to put this watch in my tier list? ThomasWatchReviews.com You see, even up this moment, I haven't really made my mind. You see, I look at this watch and it's like, it's a perfect golden watch. It has the brand name, it has the shape, the size of a perfect golden watch. I, I love how it looks like, me personally. But that's, as you saw, it's completely a subjective thing. And speaking about durability, even though technically I think it's as durable as F91W, but visually it's like it's, it's very bad durability. So I'm kind of split into two categories, into putting it into not bad or putting it into keepers. 
I think it's not durable enough to be into keepers. Right now I'm gonna put it into not bad. And if you really have good reason, tell me in the comments, write a big comment, tell me, why should I promote this watch up into keepers? Maybe there is a very good reason why I should put it up into keepers. If you have very good reason, I will think about it. I, I might change my mind and I might gonna bump it up into keepers. But for now, it goes into not bad. Such a sweet watch, but it has its problems. So, thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye.